Hello, fabulous DIYers. It's Diana Tabois here, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, so it's going to be another episode of a budget gown series. Now, for this episode, we are going to be doing $50 gown challenge. I got my $50 right here, and we're going to be looking for materials to create this $50 gown, okay? So I have to buy all my materials with just $50. So I am here at the train station. I'm going to take you guys along with me to the garment district, and we're going to be looking for supplies there, honey. Okay, so we're going to look for some deals. I don't know if my $50 can stretch in the garment district, but we're going to try today, honey. Okay, so... Um, if you guys are interested, stay tuned. We are going to get ready to hop on this train when it comes up. All right, here's the train. About to walk. Okay guys, so I made it here to the garment center. There goes the man with the sewing machine and the button that's here. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to go on 39th or 38th. So I think I'm going to do 38th and check out my guy to see what he has there. And then I make my rounds to 39th because all the fabric stores are at the end of the block. So I got to pick and choose which fabric store because the budget is very small. And I can't get as friv hey. frivolous or as crazy as I can with what I can select from the selections. Okay, so I, while I'm heading down the street, I'm going to answer some questions that um, I saw that was very popular in the other videos. Like, um, do New York City have taxes on fabric and stuff? And um, New York City don't have, doesn't have taxes on clothes and shoes that is under $110. Anything above that, they start taxing that. But for fabrics, I mean, that also spills onto fabrics and trims. But some places, they be charging taxes on the trims. For some reason, I don't know. And um, I shopped in the garment district. And I don't think they ever, I ever saw somebody charge tax when people bought fabric for $100 or $200, $300. I could be wrong, but I have never seen this. So if you come here, you may not get taxed. So I don't know. But other than that, um, under, under $110, no tax on shoes and clothes. And that spills over to fabric as well. So we're going to go to Chic Fabric. shopping with them for years they moved to a new location so this is their new location so I want to see what they got sometimes they be having some good stuff so let's see hi how are you This is pretty. Oh, secret velvets. You know, since the holidays come in, I think this is cute. Let's see what else. How much is sequin velvet? How much are these? 
Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Ten dollars the best price? Always. <laughs> what do you mean if I'm okay today? <laughs> you funny. This is pretty. Let me see this. I really like this. These. How much are these? Which one you like it, my friend? Oh, oh which one? Okay, let me see. Okay, okay. Which one? Um, the second one? Yes. Oh. Huh? No, I have a... I'm, How many budget? I'm on a budget today for my... I have a project I'm working on. Okay. Budget is $50. Oh, $50, how many? Are one year? No, not one year. Oh. <laughs> I need to find a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll come right back. So I didn't see anything in the other store. Well, I, actually, I did. I saw the velvets, but I don't want to get that and be stuck with it, not knowing exactly what I want to do with it. Because sometimes I just go fabric shopping to get inspired, and then um, I select um, the fabric that comes up with the design. So if anybody else does the same thing that I shop a fabric and you come up with the design, then let me know in the comments. But that's how I shop too. So the fabric kind of inspires me. So I need to find the right one because I am creating this gown for my mother. So it needs to look good. So I'm gonna go around the corner to see what else other stores got. And then I'll make my decision. All right, I'm going to H&M. So I usually come in here to be having some really cute stuff. Then you can go through. I'll be right back. Some really cute stuff. These are pretty. These jewel tones. This is kind of pretty. How much is this? Ten dollars. This is ten? I don't know guys, this is, I still am uninspired. Um, not yet. Let me look around first. Okay. How much are these? 18, this one. Yeah. 18. 18. How much are these? Can you do eight? Eight? Eight, yeah. How many is one? Um, I want three. Huh? 
three yards. Yeah, this one. How about Ocho? Yeah, yeah. How many have Finn yet? Yeah. Ooh, let me get this blue one then. I have to mix it with something or... I don't know yet. Okay, um... Three at eight is what? It's 24. It's 24. Can you give me three and a half? Sure. Yeah. yeah this is a nice blue. Little copper skin. Right, so I just got this. Um, we'll see if I'm gonna decide and mix it with something else. If not, I might just use this one color and that's it. Can I have your seat, please? How many of you? It was th three and a half. Thank you. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. Okay, so now I gotta go get some boning. Um, I'm gonna get the boning now before I start buying more fabric because I don't want my money to run out. So I'm gonna go into this trimmings place. This is pretty. I guess when the light hits it, it's really good. Heat seal. So they have really cute trimming in here. She's been here a long time, but she was able to expand her store. And now it's like this. Up top, she has feathers and all that other stuff. All right, so let me go look for this boning. Uh, see, not, not roll. I'll put it on a roll. You want, you want a roll? You want 144? I'll put it on a roll. You want a roll? I'll put it on a roll. No choice. I guess I'm going to go. I want the really big, big one. There's no way to get no black. Right? Uh, no black. Right. Mm, you can't order them or anything. How much do you need? Me? Yeah. Four. How much is this? Hi. Hi. When are they like? This one? In the one fifty. One fifty. One fifty? Okay. This is one. How much is this one? No, no, only this kind we have. How much is this one? One fifty. This one? Yeah. Okay. You gave me one more. And here. Can I have this? How many yards is this? One and a half? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for this one? Six. Okay. It's two yards. It's two yards? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me take that. And then this can you give me a yard in white. maybe one and a half? Of white. Oh, this is different. No, this is two dollars. This is two dollars? This is one fifty. This is one dollar. We have three sizes. Okay, so then give me th this is how much? Two dollars. Okay, so let me get the two dollar one. Mm -hmm. It says two yards, right? Yeah. Okay, give me a one yard of this. Mm -hmm. Five fifty. Five fifty. Okay. Thank you. Making a video. 
Oh. Yeah. It's a project. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I need to go to another trimming store to pick up um, underwire and a zipper. Ooh, my budget is almost done. trimming to get some underwire, raw underwire, and maybe a little bit more bony. This aisle's packed. Perfect spot for trims. If you guys are looking for trims, this is the place to come. It's like this, but it's bendable. It's soft. Can I see it, please? Oh my gosh, they're expanding. Oh wow. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this brown blocks is a boning in there. Can I have a yard and a half? You can give me one yard. One yard is fine. For all of these. Mm -hmm. Six dollars? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So guys, I have ten dollars left from the from the budget, and now I have to find something. I want to use that by utilizing it by finding something sparkly to blend it into the gown i'm not sure yet so i'm in here basically looking for something that stands out so we'll see what we can find been here full of stuff that they probably getting rid of they sometimes uh, mark them down because they're like leftovers or whatever was left on the ball that nobody's really buying because it's so much it's not enough yardage so maybe i'll just go look in here to see if i can find something for less and you know maybe they can give me a deal on it hope i can find something that matches the royal blue because i want it to be really nice look like they don't have anything in this so can you do 10. <laughs> ten dollars come on there's only one yard Ten dollars, y'all. So be it. Okay. I think it's gonna be perfect to lay over the blue to make it more like glitzy. I have some foam inside, so I'm gonna use that. And I have my thread at home, so I'm not going to be including that in the deal. That's why I decided to get something a little bit more glitzy to add on to the fabric. So. So when I get home, I'm going to share with you all the components that I got for the project. Okay, so here is the goodies. So let's pull everything out. I consolidated everything so I won't lose my stuff. All right. So, so I got this um, sparkly type of lace. Um, they basically was trying to like, I guess, get rid of stuff. So this was one of the items that they were getting rid of. 
and he gave me it for 10 bucks. I got a yard of this and now I'm thinking that I shouldn't have gotten this. Maybe I should have gotten just like horse hair, but you know what? I'm going to take this challenge and see if I can utilize this in a good way. It is a lot. Um, I got a good chunk for one yard. So I got this, which I'm super excited. Okay. And now I also got this. Now I got three and a half yards. Um, I'm considering doing a corset -y strapless dress. So I'm hoping that the three and a half will make it. I'm going to try to keep the style very simplistic, but also stunning based off of the fit and construction of the design. So I haven't, um, fully like thought through the design, but I kind of, I kind of know exactly how I want to design it. So I just got to put it down on paper and see how I feel about it. Um, I went ahead and got extra boning just in case I needed it. Um, this is this skinny one, this quarter of an inch one. I got it just in case to really um, be like, if I'm going to use it for the upper layer of the, the gown, I'm not sure yet. So I don't want to have something and not and need it, then have it and not use it. So I got this boning. I think this boning is very wide. I think it's about, it's like three quarters of an inch, which is really good because I want it to give me support. So that's why I took this one, even though they were saying like the price was $150 and then she jumped it to $2, I double checked because I always check with them. They always tend, tend to like switch up the pricing on you right down the spot. So that's why I constantly repeat prices because one minute is that and next minute it's not. Okay. So I got that and I got one yard of this little um, boning. I got this just in case um, I don't use this uh, depending on the design. So that's why I said, you know, it's better for me to have it and need it than not have it. I mean, have it and not use it than need it and not have it. So I got those pieces. Um, this one. Oh, yeah. So I got the zipper, of course for the dress and then I got the whitest underwire that they had um, for the, the size. So I'm going to use this foam to do the bra cups. Um, I have quite a bit of it so I'm just going to use that to create the bra cup. And then yeah that's it. So I'm very excited to do this. Stay tuned for part two where it's going to be the tutorial and the actual gown. This is going to be a plus size gown and my mother will be definitely the model and of course owning the dress if she loves it. So we're going to see how she feels about it once it's complete. She doesn't really know. She's just, she knows that um, I am creating a dress. Blue is her favorite color. That's why I selected this and that's why I was iffy if you're on certain fabrics when I saw them. So stay tuned for the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.